Hi folks, this is Ken from Osaka. Today we're diving into an intriguing topic, six things the US can learn from Japan. We'll explore a smorgasbord of areas from unique social customs, cutting edge technology, scrumptious food and world-class public transit. Think of it as a cultural exchange program, but without the jet lag and the language barrier. It's like sushi and apple pie having a conversation and we're just here to eavesdrop. So buckle up folks as we embark on this enlightening journey. First up, we have the concept of minimalism. Now, if you've ever been to a Japanese home, you know it's like a game of where's Waldo? But with furniture, it's not about having less though, it's about having only what you need. It's like a diet for your living space, people. And the benefits? Less clutter, less stress, and a much easier time finding your keys. Plus, you can finally see that beautiful floor you paid for. So, less is more, folks. Next, we have respect for the elders. Now, imagine a world where instead of OK Boomer, we say yes, sensei. Japan's culture deeply values and respects the elderly, recognizing them as treasure troves of wisdom and knowledge. They're not just old, they're like fine wine, getting better with age. And let's not forget they've seen more reruns of Friends than any of us ever will. So next time you see a senior, consider bowing, not bouncing. Remember folks, Wisdom comes with age. Moving on, we have punctuality. In Japan, if you're not early, you're late. It's not just a saying, it's an unwritten rule. The trains, the buses, heck, even the cherry blossoms bloom on time. Being punctual is seen as a virtue that shows respect for other people's time. And let's face it, who doesn't appreciate a meeting that starts and ends when it's supposed to? right? It's like a well-oiled machine. Everything just runs smoothly. Time waits for no man, folks. Next up, we have healthy eating habits. Now, let's talk longevity. Ever wondered why the Japanese outlive most of us? It's not just because they've found the fountain of youth, it's their diet. Picture this, a meal filled with fresh fish, rice, and an orchestra of colorful veggies. It's like a long life potion served on a platter. They've mastered the art of balanced meals and it's time we took a page out of their cookbook. So here's the mantra, eat well, live long folks. Moving on, we have cleanliness. Now, in Japan, cleanliness isn't just a chore, it's practically a philosophy. They've got it down to a fine art, folks. It's like the Japanese are born with a broom in one hand and a dustpan in the other. Every nook and cranny is so clean, you could probably eat your sushi off the sidewalk. And not just because it's the polite thing to do, but because they understand that cleanliness is a reflection of oneself. Cleanliness is next to godliness, folks. Next, we have public transportation. Ever been in a New York subway during rush hour? Yeah, it's like trying to squeeze a watermelon into a soda can. Now imagine a system that's as smooth as butter on a hot pancake. That's Japan for you. Trains that could set their clocks by you. Buses that wait for no man. And ticket machines that don't eat your change. It's a beautiful ballet of punctuality and convenience. On time, every time, folks. Well, folks, that was quite a ride. We've zipped through six fantastic things the US can learn from Japan. From embracing the art of minimalism to respecting our elders. The timeliness of a Swiss watch. The healthy eating habits that could make an apple blush cleanliness that outshines Mr. Clean and public transportation that could give the flash a run for his money. So folks, 
it looks like there's plenty we can learn from the land of the rising sun. Until next time, this is Ken from Osaka signing off.